Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Our top story, a promise this evening to Jamaicans that beach access rights will be studied by the Constitutional Reform Committee. In its third town hall meeting, this time in Portland, stakeholders admitted free beach access is becoming a problem for many Jamaicans. More from Dwayne Anderson. The Blue Lagoon in Portland was reopened weeks ago after being closed for nearly one year, much to the delight of some beachgoers and the tour operators. But not all the stakeholders are totally satisfied. Some want guarantees in law to ensure they are never barred from the attraction again, and they want those guarantees in the Constitution. The matter was put to members of the Constitutional Reform Committee on Wednesday. Portland Environment and Action Group and JABEM is asking the Constitutional Committee if they will embrace the aspiration of the Jamaican people and remove the colonial era legislation, namely the Beach Control Act of 1956 and replacing it with constitutional guarantees for general and unfettered rights of our beach access. Dr. Nadine Spence is chairman of the public engagement on the committee. She explained the issues around beach access will be examined. I remember some years ago going to Barbados and hearing the Prime Minister of Barbados then talk about swimming being a human right for people who live on an island. And I agree with that. We need to look at our legislation and look at where through time we continue to disempower and hurt groups of people because of the color of their skin or for whatever other reason we have used. And I agree with you. I think the Constitutional Reform Committee must examine the matter of beach rights. Legal and Constitutional Affairs Minister Marlene Malahu Fort said a beach access policy was drafted and is now being reviewed. Furthermore, she says beach access would get more focus in phase two of these public consultations. Be assured that we will hear and we will make the appropriate recommendations from the consultations. But there is also a security dimension to our marine borders that should be taken into account. Um, so the matter is not as simple as it appears. In addition to the Blue Lagoon in Portland, residents in Alligator Pond, Manchester, Ocheria, St. Anne, and Bull Bay in St. Thomas have also reported beach restrictions because of private interests. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.